morning, Mr. Logan. You'll find some clothes for yourself in this dresser here and a gun belt. Who are you anyway? What do you want? We'll be waiting downstairs to speak with you. Logan, you're looking good this morning. Yeah, I feel okay. Is there anything we can get you? Maybe like a beer or something? Yeah, I'd uh, like a few answers. I'd uh, like to know everything. What to begin with, he's just been hired. For what? Food is probably the most important mission of this war. We're here under orders from President Lincoln himself to destroy the Confederate main supply ship, the Sea Rebel. My friend Barrett here is an explosives expert. We happen to know that you're the best gun on the town. There's no way we can do this without you, Logan. You're the only man for the job. You see? You see, Logan, if you don't help us, there's no way we're going to get away with this. No. We need your help. Believe me, the job pays plenty. Forget it. What? No way this job can pay enough. You ain't going to get near that ship. It's so well guarded. What are you, crazy or something? The captain trusts me. I'll keep him busy while you get aboard. So we can still get spotted. We'll be ready. All the main details are taken care of. All you have to do is come along as backup. The whole operation should take more than an hour. Then what? Then you're free to go as you please. Your pay is a thousand dollars in gold. Brent, you just tired yourself a gun. One more thing. Our horses are out by the train yard. So what do you bother me with details for? Uh -huh. To pay attention. Why is that, Brent? Because. Because we were up to the We have to fight our way out of here. Hold it there, you sidewinder. This ain't your fight, mister. I'm making it my fight. That there's my son. Don't look now, but I think we got trouble. Alright, who did this here to my boy? There you get up. I say, get up, you the little liver bastard that hit my boy. I say, get up, or I'm gonna shoot you in the back. Madre Dios. Nail these penego. Grab him. We're going. Bartender, stay clear of that scatter gun. Don't do it. I warned you. Oh, quiet. Use a knife. I'll take the guard on the platform. These varmints are here somewhere. <laughs>
should hurry. The sun will be up soon. Straight to the judge. Hi there, you old sea dog. Ahoy there, yourself, me. I came for our usual game of chess. We need to plant the charges below deck. You better be careful, you're liable to lose the whole game. All we've got to do is connect this last piece. Y'all oh, freeze! Come here, quick! Sit down and shut up over there. Barry, behind you. What the hell was that? Kill him! You fools, don't you see the one that we're doing this for? It's you! Let's get the hell out of here. Nothing to stop him, sir. I keep telling you, there was nothing else I could do. Captain, there's always something you can do. Well, sir, I'm sorry. Sorry! Sorry doesn't get me no ship back, Captain. Sorry. Sir, if you'll permit me to say, I think I might have a lead as to... So you think you might have a lead, huh, Captain? Yes, sir. Well, then I suggest you get out there and follow up your lead, because I don't want to see you no more. And if you don't have the man who did it, you'll be hanging from the next ship. What do you mean, gone? Well, sir, they've just vanished. Well, then I suggest you start tracing them as soon as you can, because if you don't have their hides in here by tonight, I'm going to see you hanged. You wouldn't want to be doing nothing rash now. Captain, I don't believe you even know what rash is until you see me get mad. Now, I suggest you get out there. And you begin looking for these people, and you find them, and... Well, sir, it's not all that easy, you know. And you wouldn't believe us coming up the stairs. It's James O'Hanley, one of the men who I suspected. So, O'Hanley's in on this, huh? Well, I haven't seen him for quite some time. Maybe we'll just sit down and have a nice talk when he comes in. Oh, how you doing there, Mr. O'Hanley? Hold on a minute. Captain, I'm sorry to hear about your ship, but there's nothing I can do for you. Why don't you try coming back tomorrow? Good day, Captain. I'll see you later. Now, what can I do for you, O'Hanley? Well, Your Honor, my friends and I, we're heading back north. Logan decided to come with us until things cooled off. I'd like to thank you for all your help. 
It's a pleasure to be a help to the United States Treasury Department. Well, sir, I'm not exactly with the Treasury Department. Then you mean this thing's been some sort of hoax or something like that, huh? Because if it has, I'm liable to get very upset. Now, suppose you start real slow from the beginning and tell me what this whole thing is about and just exactly who you are what you're doing here. I'm with the United States government. Well then, just who do you work for? Assassination Bureau. Then I guess that makes me a likely target. You know it. <laughs> Looking for a man by the name of Carl Grace. I'm wondering if you can help me find him. I'm Carl Grace. Who wants to know? Mr. Grace, I might be having a bit of work for you if you are interested. $500 a head for three men. I get all traveling expenses, room and board, and my usual fee is $1,000 a head. And now talk to me. I'm desperate. I'll pay anything. Good. You just hired a man. You know, Hanley, I could use a nice quiet day after all that. Inside, I'll keep an eye out here. Evening, ladies. <laughs> Good evening, Deputy. Somebody hired him to come after us, and we got problems now, and you better figure out how to straighten them out, because I don't want to deal with them. What are you worrying about? You got the whole United States government protecting you. 
There's nobody even going to be able to get close to you. You're going to protect me the same way you protected Barrett? Logan, don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. You just make damn sure I get paid. Yeah! <laughs> Somebody take his gun from him, okay? Don't want no accident. You gentlemen will be well paid for that pass. It's imperative. Not as imperative as the price you watch you drink. Get up with that hose, boy. Let's cut him up. there. 